Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to yet another video everybody. Now today guys, I'm sure you are all wondering what this video is about. Well, we just recently ended our second season, our Exodus season of our tournaments guys, and we have quite a few people that participated. However, there are a couple of people that I would like to shout out. Now there will be some profile pictures on screen hopefully if I remember and can do it. And I mean, it'll show all of the scores, first, second, third place, what the rewards were. And also guys, it will show you a little bit of a sneak peek, maybe a cinematic to the next actual season. I don't have a release date for the next season, but I'm hoping it will be sometime in this next month, possibly in the next two weeks, maybe, if I can finish getting everything developed. But without further ado, guys, I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you guys are brand new to the channel, please subscribe, guys, and like, because, hey, you guys can have a chance to win some money in our tournament. So thank you guys all so much for watching, and I will catch you guys in just a second. Alrighty, ladies and gents, moving on to the first person. The player that we have in first place for the Exodus Tournament was, of course, Mr. Snowy, or Snowy is Cold, if you guys are talking about his in-game name. He was in first place, luckily enough, with nine wins. Congratulations to him. This is his first actual first place tournament win. I'm not sure about last season, but I believe he was close to a placement last season, and he was able to pull out the win in first place this season. So congratulations to Snowy, and on to the second place player. Alrighty, everybody, and on to the second place player. Now, I'm sure if you guys took part in the tournament season, I, you know, I announced the placements quite a lot, but we're going to go ahead and say it. In second place, we have Mr. Matthew in second place. Congratulations, my guy. You had eight wins this season. That's a pretty good score considering the last season's maximum was, I believe, ten. So congratulations to you, man. And I will put all of the rewards and everything that you got on screen. Once again, congrats. I've said it too many times. Put on to the third place player, and congratulations yet again. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, now onto the person in third place currently. Now, there's a little bit of backstory that needs to be said here. Basically, the person in third place is Mr. Exotic Waves with seven, but I want to explain something. Mr. Exotic Waves was in first place for about 90% of the tournament, but unfortunately, on the final day, the day that mattered, he was unable to make it to the tournament, which it screwed him. I'm sorry, I'm going to say that. It really did. He was in first place on the last day and lost it to Snowy and Matthew. Sorry, I couldn't think of the name there for a second. He lost it to Snowy and Matthew on the final day, unfortunately, so props to Exotic for stealing first place for the entire tournament. Sorry you got third place, man, but hey, at least you placed. Congratulations. And now, guys, on to the final cinematics. Hope you guys enjoy, and tell me what you think. I hope that you guys sincerely enjoyed that cinematic trailer. It did take us quite a long time to make the new map, so I hope you guys did enjoy that. Now, you might be wondering, it's a map, you know, but what is it of? Well, it's about time I went over what we're actually seeing here. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the brand new Gulag map. Now, I will explain this a little bit because it looks nothing like the old one. Now, essentially, guys, from what I was noticing from last tournament season, as there was not enough room for people to maneuver. And also, guys, I noticed I wanted to make the actual Gulag map more of an open-based strategic map. So we've added a couple of things here. I'm not sure if I'll put a video image here, because I kind of want to keep it a secret until then. But essentially, 
there's a lot of new things. Let me kind of go over a couple. First of all, there are now two point captures instead of one. Now in the video you saw a second ago, there was an underground area and the above ground area. There is a point capture in both of those two areas. There is one in the haunted forest and there is also one in the mines, which is below the map. There are two different point captures. Now, however, both players are either supposed to kill each other or plant one of the objectives. So if you go up to an objective and start one, the other one will deactivate. So only one can be active at a time. Also, one more thing. There are also a brand new, I don't want to say there's also a brand new system, but there is a brand new system coming into the Gulag map, as you guys know it. Now, last season, you would only get a Deagle and a C4, and you were stuck to only moving around a limited edition map. That is totally changing. There is not only going to be a Deagle and a C4, but we're completely removing that, and we've actually made... Not gonna, I'm not going to say customizable. We have made four separate heroes that you can use, or four separate kits that you can use to fit your playstyle. Now, I'll go over a couple of them in just a second, guys. So let me know what you think in the comments and how excited you guys are to play the new map. But without further ado, let's get straight into the kits. Okay, everybody. Now, on to the first kit that I would like to talk to you guys about today. First off, we have our first man over here, Brutus. Now, I know there is no video footage for you guys, so I will try to explain everything as is, just as not to give too much stuff away for now. But essentially, guys, the first kit that is in the game currently is our guy named Brutus. Now, he is equipped with a heavy revolver, which is basically just a golden revolver. He also has one mini shield and 250 HP. However, one more major thing to note while using him is the fact that he actually is slower than walking speed. So he goes extremely slow. However, he has a ton of HP that he can lose to an enemy player. And the best way to play him is to try to plant the point and kind of defend it and keep other people from getting inside of it. Alrighty, now second, and I'm not gonna lie. One of my personal favorites is the Spy Class. Now, essentially, guys, this is one of my favorite kits for a reason. First of all, it has a Silenced Golden Scar, which in my opinion is just a decent gun anyways. And also, it has a new system we have implemented called Disguise. Essentially, he has himself a Propomatic, and he can turn into anything on the map. However, he is only set to 100 HP, so he cannot take very much damage. So you have to play him very, very smartly. Also, one more major thing, he actually is faster than running speed, so he goes extremely fast, and it's easy for him to get in positions, however, he cannot take very much damage. I have to say, obviously being Cobras, you gotta give me some slack here, but this is by far my favorite kit. Now, of course, we have Marksman, which is kitted out with one Heavy Sniper and Golden Rarity, as well as I also have one smoke screen to use, so you can set down that smoke grenade, and it will work for about, eh, 20 seconds, I think, 25 seconds, and he also has a total of 200 HP, so he has a decent health pool right there that he can use. However, you have to keep in mind that Heavy Sniper Reload is going to take a long time, and you will lose a lot of HP in the process. Another heavily balanced hero that I think we might have to nerf or buff in the future, based on what you guys think. But, on to the end of the video. Alrighty, everybody, that was just kind of a little bit of a rundown about how the new kit system works. I'm obviously not going to show anything off, but I'm just going to tell you guys, once it is completely set up and ready to go and we play our first tournament game in Season 3, you guys are going to love it, trust me. I want your guys' opinions, though, in the comments. So if you guys don't like the new map, or you think that you have a suggestion, or you just want to, you know, throw an idea out there that you think we should add, please, guys, let us know. I love your guys' criticism. Please, guys, help me make this game as enjoyable as possible for you guys. So without further ado, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Hope to see you all in Season 3. Let me know what you think, and I will see you guys next time.